Hey guys, Smelling Roses here. Today I'm in the Western Piedmont of North Carolina and we're in northern Rockingham County. We are currently in a northern backcountry property that belongs to the Mayo River State Park. So you can see the Mayo River here. And this is an area that's been featured in some other videos I've done. This is an area where I really enjoy coming to explore. So some of you know this particular spot. You can see the river is up quite a bit. We've had rain and snow flurries the last few days. It was snowing on my way down here actually, but it's kind of cleared out. You can see there's no accumulation, just flurries. So this is the Mayo River and from this point here it flows south maybe 15 or 16 miles and it flows into the Dan River near the town of Mayo Dan. And you can see that to the north there is a fork in the river. Off in this direction is the South Mayo River and in this direction is the North Mayo River. Both forks of the river flow down from up in Virginia, uh, the river has its origins way up near the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia. This property directly ahead on the other side of the river is private property. And this side of the river is more property of the Mayo River State Park, as is this bank here where we are. So this area is part of the Mayo River State Park. However, there are no public facilities here. There's technically no public access. There are no trails. It's a great area to explore and uh, just do bushwhacking in the woods. And there's layer upon layer of things to discover here. Just down there, I uh, guess you guys can't quite make it out in the video, but that is Fall Creek coming into the river there. And you guys have seen Fall Creek and specifically Fall Creek Falls numerous times in my videos and we may go down there and check that out as well. The flow may be up due to the recent rain but what we're going to do right now is sort of follow this north fork of the Mayo River. We are very close to the state line here in this area. It's maybe just a few hundred yards north to the Virginia North Carolina border and there's some pretty good rapids along the river there right at the border so we're going to go up there first and sort of check that out so come along all right guys we're very close to the park boundary now See some very cool rock vein coming down the hill there and extending out into the river forming this small set of rapids and actually at times when the river is at normal flow you can just about walk across the river across those rocks but you can see the water levels are up quite a bit today. Just over there on that very large tree is one of the markers for the state park boundary. I'll take you guys over there in a moment so we can check that out. 
but more or less the park boundary here is also the state line between Virginia and North Carolina. And the line cuts across the river here and you can see that the other end of the rocks there basically represents the state line more or less it's hard to tell exactly but as I understand it all of these rocks and these rapids are in North Carolina the state line passes just behind the rocks here so you can see here the markers for the state park So behind these signs is the Mayor River State Park and in this direction we have basically entered the state of Virginia and we're on private property. You can see there's some more cool rocks up along the hill there. Beautiful area here but of course this is private property and I don't advocate trespassing on private property. So we're going to head back into North Carolina and continue to explore the state park. Okay guys, so we could follow the river back pretty much the way we just came. However, I think I'm going to make my way over this hill behind me and we can go up and over this ridge and down on the other side of the ridge we should find Fall Creek and in passing we'll check out Fall Creek Falls and see how the see how the flow looks today all right so we're still not quite to the top of the ridge but you can see the worst of the climb is over see the river down below failed to mention earlier that elevations in this area range from maybe 650 to 700 feet up to around 1,000 feet above sea level I'm not a hundred percent certain but I believe the highest point in the state park is down at Mayo Mountain and that elevation there is just at or just below 1,000 feet above sea level. As you can see there are steep slopes in the area but the overall terrain is not especially rugged. You can see here along the top of the ridge we've discovered an old access road or perhaps an old logging or farming road. I've always wanted to kind of follow this road, but I believe I know where it comes out. If we continue to follow this road, I believe it comes out on the public state road. Very close to the border between the two states. I don't intend to follow the road all the way to the end. And I wasn't fast enough with my camera, but a white-tailed deer just kicked up and ran across here in front of me. I believe it was a doe, but uh, she was running away from me, so I'm not 100% sure, but check out the fresh tracks. Just left a few seconds ago. Pretty good sized deer. Alright, so the road continues in that direction, but we're going to leave the road and again enter the woods. And we're going to descend another steep slope. And this will take us down to Fall Creek, which is down there. It's quite slippery with all the wet leaves and the steep slope. You can already see the creek down below. Alright guys, if you regularly follow my channel, you should probably recognize this place. This is Fall Creek and it's been featured on my channel numerous times. We're just going to continue to follow the creek upstream until we reach Fall Creek Falls.
Fall Creek Falls is really the highlight of the Mayo River State Park, but interestingly enough, there's no information about it on the State Park's website. And as I mentioned, this area of the park has no trails or public access. It's just kind of one of those secret gyms that you just have to know where to find it. And those are usually the best spots. Alright guys, so this is the perfect weather and time of day for a nice cup of coffee. Just going to boil some water here and make a cup. Okay guys, so my original intention was to cross the creek here, somewhere in this vicinity, and I was going to continue my exploration on the other side of this hill. Back in this area here is an area that I have yet to explore, and it's a short distance down to the Mayo River, and I believe there are some pretty cool rock formations up in there, and there are some additional rapids uh, along the river further south, so I had intended to kind of explore that area some today, but I've been out here longer than I had planned, and I think we'll just save that for another day. Today is December 30th, 2014, so the year is almost over. I'm expecting the next couple of days to be very busy at work, so this was almost certainly my final adventure for 2014. It's been a really great year. I've been very fortunate to visit so many great and awesome places, and I want to thank you guys for coming along for all the adventures. I really appreciate all your views and support. So I'm looking forward to some big and exciting plans for 2015. Hope you guys will stay tuned. I'll see you in 2015. Happy New Year, everybody. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the trail.